Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise, AutoAppraise.com, shooting you a 1965 Plymouth Satellite Street Wedge 426 convertible. Sorry it's gotten dark on us during this inspection. We ran out of daylight. I have no idea how this is going to come out. Car features the original 426 motor cast in, I think, September 15th. Got dual exhaust. Underbody's a sound, solid survivor with the exception of some previous collision damage on the left front and left center rails. Left torque box has been repaired. Got original period style hubcaps. We're just getting ready to take it out for a drive. Power top's not going up and down right now. Motor's got power to it. So a few small DA marks in the glass, but the original glass is pretty well survived. Otherwise, got a pretty good survivor interior. All the lights appear to be working. Turn signals, reverse lights, headlights, tail lights, bright light indicator. Well, this is a little dark. Go ahead uh, when you're ready. Factory four-speed car, bare bones AM radio, no power steering, no power brakes. in really good shape otherwise the bows have been repainted which you're not going to see they're all white the car's got a boot with it got a solid original trunk there's been some resplatter work done on it the inner quarter panel splash panels have had some uh, riveted uh, sheet metal repairs done to them uh, but they appear to be sufficiently uh, holding up whatever uh, damage was done to the car was done a long long time ago Car's got a dual point distributor, aftermarket four barrel carburetor, uh, date code correct intake. How about we switch into a Chinese fire drill and you let me take off? Yep. I'm going to give you a new camera, man. It's a nice uh, view right above the hood, kind of like that if you could. This is one of my non edited videos. You can't really see the paint out here in the dark, but it's got a really nice reflective quality. You can read small bold print all the way around it pretty easy from 16 to 18 inches away. Let's grab it right there. Where? Right there is fine. And uh, up on it. You got a hold on in anything? It's just right there is good. That's perfect. Okay. See if I can tear this four speed out of it. You didn't pull the parking brake, did you? That's reverse. This should be reverse right there. Yeah, but it's fine first. All right. Got a 
original manual four-wheel drum brakes. Glass is in pretty good shape. The windshield looks like it might have been changed at one point. All original survivor side glass. All rolls up and down nicely. <laughs> Won't be right. Car is equipped with seat belts. Original driver's seat I'm sitting in. It's got a little bit of a lump in it. I kind of feel where the springs are original and they uh, they're feel a little bit of wear in there. Um, putting the brakes on, I've got a I feel like I got a little bit of a pull to the uh, draw to the right front corner. It could probably benefit from being being adjusted. We're going to spin her around. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise, AutoAppraise.com, doing a late test drive in Michigan on a beautiful night. Driving a nice looking 65 Plymouth Street Wedge car, convertible. Car is pretty rare in production numbers. One of about how many? Well, it's low. It's, it's real low. We'll have to look that when we get back. Car is originally from Arizona. They found the uh, broadcast sheet. Let us know if we can do an inspection for you sometime. 800-301-3886. We'll try to get yours done in the daylight. Thanks for looking.